Antarctica is a continent that encompasses the South Pole and is the driest place on Earth. It was discovered by Charles Wilkes in 1840, with an area of approximately 14.4 million square kilometers. Antarctica is almost half the size of Africa. Some archipelagos are also found along the coasts of Antarctica. Antarctica is covered by a thick layer of ice, averaging 2,000 meters in thickness. The South Pole has the coldest and most stormy climate on Earth. The Ross Ice Shelf, with an area of 540,000 square kilometers, is almost the size of France. The word Arctos means bear in Greek and Optikos means near the bear and is used to refer to places in the north. To balance the known northern part of the world, unknown lands in the south were given the name Antarcticos, meaning opposite of the north, belonging to the south. The word Antarcticos was later transcribed into Antarctic in Latin, which means opposite of the north, belonging to the south. This led to the use of the name Antarctic to describe the unknown frozen landmass in the south. The name Antarctica was first used by Scottish geographer and cartographer John George Bartholomew in a map he drew for a paper by Sir John Murray in 1886, and its use for the continent became increasingly common and was fully accepted in the 1920s. The discovery process of Antarctica began with the centuries-long search for Terra Australis, which was shaped by the ideas of symmetry and equilibrium put forward by Greek philosophers about the world in 600300 BC, and Ptolemy's writings in the first half of the second century add that he was convinced of the existence of a large piece of land in the south for symmetry and balance. The history of Antarctica is filled with exploration and discovery, with numerous expeditions by various nations to uncover the mysteries of this remote continent. The first confirmed encounter of European and American explorers with Antarctica occurred in 1820, and since then, many firsts have been achieved and scientific research has been conducted. The International Geophysical Year of 1956 to 1958 marked a period of heightened scientific activity, leading to the establishment of many research stations on the continent and numerous expeditions to unexplored parts of Antarctica. Today, Antarctica continues to be an area of intense scientific interest and exploration as researchers seek to understand its unique environment and its role in the Earth's climate system. Antarctica is the southernmost continent surrounded by the Southern Ocean, consisting of a main island and surrounding islands located asymmetrically around the South Pole and mostly within the Arctic Circle. It can be considered to be surrounded by the South Pacific, Atlantic and Indian Oceans. The continent's borders are determined by the 60th south latitude in the north. With a surface area of 14 million square kilometers, it is the fifth largest continent after Asia, Africa, North America and South America. Antarctica is approximately 1,000 kilometers from the coast of South America, 3,100 kilometers from Australia and 3,980 kilometers from the coast of Africa. The distance from one end to the other is approximately 4,500 kilometers. The northernmost landmass is Hope Bay at the tip of the Antarctic Peninsula. However, the northern point of the Antarctic continent is located on one of the Seal Islands, which form part of the South Shetland Islands. The southernmost tip of the continent is the geographic South Pole, which is also the southernmost tip of the Earth. The coastline is 17,968 kilometers long and is characterized by ice formations. In the second half of the 20th century, the Antarctic Peninsula was the fastest warming place on Earth, followed by West Antarctica, but temperatures rose more slowly in the early 21st century. Conversely, the South Pole, located in East Antarctica, barely warmed at all during much of the 20th century, but temperatures rose three times the global average between 1990 and 2020. In February 2020, the continent recorded its highest temperature. It was recorded at 18.3 C64, 9F 0.8 C14 F higher than the previous record set in March 2015. There is some evidence that surface warming in Antarctica is caused by human greenhouse gases but it is difficult to determine due to internal variability. The trend was on a scale not seen in the last 600 years, with the most dominant driver of the variability mode likely being the depletion of the ozonosphere over the continent.
Since the 1970s, scientists have been studying the Antarctic ozone layer. In 1985, British scientists discovered a large area of low ozone concentration over Antarctica by studying data collected at the Halley Research Station on the Brunt Ice Shelf. This area, known as the ozone hole, covers almost the entire continent. PTHE depletion is caused by the emission of chlorofluorocarbons and halons that mix into the atmosphere, leading to the formation of polar stratospheric clouds. These clouds act as a catalyst for chemical reactions that ultimately result in the destruction of the ozone layer. The surrounding areas of Antarctica, especially the Antarctic Peninsula, are exposed to higher temperatures, which accelerates ice melting. Models suggest that the thinning of the ozone layer and the increased polar vortex effect could explain the increase in sea ice extent observed from the late 1970s until 2014. However, in recent years, the extent of Antarctic sea ice has been rapidly decreasing. It is predicted that ozone levels will return to the values recorded in the 1980s by the 2060s. The very low temperature naturally affects their living conditions. Many of the species in Antarctica appear to be descendants of species that lived there millions of years ago. Therefore, they must have survived more than one glacial cycle. Species survived periods of extreme cold climate in isolated warm regions, such as those with geothermal heat or areas that remained ice-free throughout the colder climate. Many animals live along the continent's coasts and in its open seas. Penguins, puffins, seagulls, birds, seals, squid and whales live by eating plankton and fish in the cold but nutrient-rich South Pole seas. Of these creatures, only penguins are unique to this continent. Polar bears do not live in Antarctica. The continent is home to 35 penguin species, 200 fish species, 12 whales and dozens of different bird species. The plankton called krill found in the Antarctic ecosystem is thought to be a solution to the problems of countries suffering from food deficiency. Krill is caught as little as 100,000 tons today. It is calculated that catching the amount of fish caught in the world in a year 70 million tons would not be a problem. Thanks for joining me on my newly opened documentary YouTube channel. Your support is vital, so please subscribe and share with your friends and family. My goal is to educate, entertain, and inspire by exploring fascinating stories from around the world.